Hi, my name is Sky, and uh, this is a comment I have for the History Channel for um, the program The Rise and Fall of the Spartans. Um, I thought that it was a very good, well put together program, and, you know, <laughs> of course, go figure, it's made in response to 300 being so popular. But there's something uh, I was kind of curious about, and uh, I really I didn't see any mention of it uh, throughout the whole program, and that is uh, how religious the Spartans were. Um, you know, because I believe that was like the biggest part of what kept them so organized and so such a homogenous and just stable society is that, you know, they really lived and existed in the realm of, uh, you know, the the metaphysical, you know, that you know they were all connected together, and you know by this divine right and this divine order and you know, law, and that's why you saw you know like certain figures. Um, you know, both within, you know, their community and without, that just really respected, you know, the laws, or, or the, you know, like the laws, but also the uh, the religious aspects of their society. Um, you know, it was tr many travelers of the time period, you know, I believe, according to many sources, uh, stated that the Spartans were very religious. And, you know, that's one thing that everybody looked up to the Spartans, was that their, you know, their dedication to, you know, religious, uh, uh, you know, uh, rituals and festivals, um, and you know, and of course, there's all these examples in history of the Spartans, you know, just living you know, or participating in these uh, religious you know, festivals and you know, methodologies. Um, and I think that really also explains just like you know the organization, uh, you know, and just the way that you could organize society. You could you know tell people you can only exist this this and that way, is because you have this religious you know um, enforcement of it. You know, and the thing to remember, is, uh, of course, is that religion and, and government are one and the same. So it's a good way to, you know, say or to explain everything as uh, this is what you know, this is what happened. This is what you know, what one person was and his relationship to another person. Um, but I think you know, the, you know, there's neglect of the whole aspect that there is a religion, you know, uh, that's enforcing and you know, encouraging this whole aspect. Um, you know, and it's just it makes such you know so much more sense. Um, and I also think that's something that is often overlooked for uh, the Athenians, because uh, you know, I mean, weren't they also you know fairly religious in their own respect? You know, it's, but uh, you know, it's a, it's a weird, unique way to look at the religion. So, and I think that's something that you know, I'm kind of curious: can that be explored? Can that be something that you can present? Is that this idea here? I I exist. And I have a history. I know I have a history. And the thing is, I am of, you know, like in Rome, you know, he says, I am of this family line. I come from these people, you know. And these people, you know, I, it's like these guys who can say, oh, I have a religious, uh, or not religious, but a spiritual uh, benefactor. You know, I'm related to some god, or, you know, in some way or another. Um, you know, and the thing is, you exist in that environment. You know, it's like, oh, I can go to the place. I know exactly where it's at. Um, you know, and this think of, like, well, this can be the same thing in the Middle East, you know, in uh, Jerusalem, um, and even in uh, Iraq, that you have these places that are just very religious and very historical, you know, very old. Um, you know, the history of the people just extend back, you know, as far back as, you know, who knows how long. Um, and think of that, you know, you, <laughs> your blood is in the soil, you know, kind of thing. So, but I'm just kind of curious if uh, History Channel could explore that. Anyways, uh, on that one program, uh, 300 Spartans, that two-hour program, which really should have been one hour, so much filler, come on, you know. Look, History Channel, you guys do a great job. I love watching your you know, channel. I mean, like a couple years ago, it was like every other channel was either World War II or Rome. I just couldn't stop watching. I, anyways, it was, it was ridiculous. It was crazy. But anyways... Uh, and sometimes you had some bad production quality on, on your shows, and then sometimes you have some good, you know, and lately it's been getting better. Uh, but that one 300, you know, oh man, it's so much filler, you know, and it's just, it was such a disappointment too, because like, you know, really you guys have been you know, making better, better, better shows, and then three, you know, that 300 one comes out, and like, ah, oh, come on, man. Um, you know, and definitely get more of like just guys, you know, get more of guys just sitting around talking, you know, BSing about history, you know, that would be neat. And, you know, let them just, you know, get these kind of more radical, crazy guys and their theories, you know, but like legit, you know, too. So, anyways, um, 
what else I want to say. But yeah, good job, History Channel.